Good morning, B Staff Fishing Nation. What's going on? Oh, yeah, we're going to be out here with some major players. Yeah, man. If you guys need your Minn Kota fixed and you are anywhere in the South Jersey area, you reach out to Captain Brian Williams, Bad Fish Charters. I'm telling you, he got my Minn Kota fixed in a week. It's not always the case, but for me, it worked out last year in a week. He's, uh, I'm telling you, he's, they don't come any better. So, long and short, then I forget what, already what today's date is. What's today's date? What the? Wow. Tuesday, March 21st already. Craziness. But I'm down here, Atlanta County, fishing the salty rivers. Uh, high tide. It all depends where you're going to be. But the lower end of the river, high tide is around nine o'clock a little before nine up the river way up the river is an hour difference so uh fish for stripers you know the deal got a couple new uh couple new uh lures a couple new uh plans of attack today uh, a little salt strong mulligan so uh if you're interested go down below in the description the link will be down there all right, let's get out there and get them. I'm hoping today's going to be a good day. Listen, if you are stepping out on a dock right now, it's cold and uh, the docks are frozen, so be careful. All right, like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Go fishing, let's go. All righty, B-Stab Fishing Nation. I, well, you saw the uh, title, Striper Fishing or Skunk Hunting? And I'm afraid it's the latter, but let's do it. All right, first drop. What we have on is the Salt Strong Mulligan. I need to get myself moving with the with the current here. I got a three eighths ounce jig head. I'm going light. I am going much lighter than I normally go here, ladies and gentlemen. Much lighter than I normally go. We'll see. See if I'm worthy. All right, I gotta get myself. Gotta get the boat right here for a second. We're into a little, little bit of a breeze, Rooney. See what we got going on. All right, I think we're good. All right, you know the deal. Touch bottom, work your way up. You know, snap jigging. Snap jigging. Using a different color. I'm going lighter. Going lighter. Normally we go dark, dark greenish, but I'm gonna go lighter. Came over some fish, that's why I turned around and stopped here. Let's see what we got. Alright, came over some really nice marks. Let's see if see if they're able to be able to duplicate them. Again, it's a little lighter than I normally use this head. This could be a little could be problematic for me, I'm not sure. We'll see. Alrighty, let's give it a shot again. Just uh, nothing. I had nothing on that first stretch. Just moved up a little bit from it, up up, uh, up river. Not far, but came over some marks. Whether or not they're hungry marks, we just don't know. We'll give it a shot. with white normally we're fishing like a dark dark colors back here dark green metal fleck type of stuff going with white I've seen it working oh, I'm coming over a mess of stuff here I don't know if it's fish but it's a mess of stuff something down there come 
on. Come on. I got some tender vittles for you. Let's go. So, if the white doesn't work, I will switch it up. I want to give the white a shot. Man, when this breeze kicks up, it is wreaking havoc. That's for sure. All right, Beast Staff Fishing Nation. Still nothing. Still working this one stretch that uh, I hit last time I was out. Mike the engineer put on a clinic. I may have to go way up river, but man, if I, I'm not sure. This water is dirty. It's got a ton of reeds in it. It's dingy looking. It's not good. Not good. Not good at all, Mav. B Staff Fishing Nation, I'm telling you, I did not stop fishing, did not stop jigging this whole time. This water is absolutely cruddy. It's filthy. But I'm marking fish. Fish that are suspended mid-column, they're not going to bite. Fish down the bottom, they're the ones you want. And I'm marking them. I'm marking a couple here, a couple there. They just weren't chewing, at least for me. I'm starting to think there's a banana hidden on my boat somewhere. Alrighty, give it another shot. I'm fishing around a, uh, it's like a little hump that's in here. A couple guys caught last week. A couple guys were actually spot locked. Casting up to the hump and then jigging all the way down. See if I can cover some ground. Just not marking anything. Just don't have the marks up here. That's not good. Peas leaving the party and I just got here. <laughs> Captain Jerry Lynch on line one. Stand by. <sighs> kind of in the middle of like a tide switch, wind pushing me faster than I need to be pushed kind of thing here. And uh scoping out that way which leads me to believe the tide might still be coming in a little bit I may have to change change up here but I'm moving pretty good so I can't believe that the wind would be pushing me this hard although it could be of course I'm using a lighter jig head than I normally do so I'm struggling beast staff fishing nation haven't got a fish yet Changed up colors, went dark. Changing it up. I don't know what else to do. So we gotta loosen this up a little bit. All right, get loosen that line up. All right, bring that in a little. feeling this this tide's still rolling in a little oh goodness all 
All right, came over some fish. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll play it as if the tide was still coming in. And of course now I'm scoping the other way. So it's just it's like one of these ones you just can't you can't win for losing. I'm using a lighter jig head too. So now is the tide stopping? Is the boat moving too fast? I have stayed home, played with my dog. <laughs> Listen, you can't catch fish sitting at the house, right? So, we'll see what happens. In my eyes, it takes one fish to make the day. I don't know what one fish makes a video, but one fish makes the day. Hey, what I'm not finding is the packs of fish, the big schools, the big bodies of fish. I ran into last year and we we came over and if you guys look at those videos from last year oh my goodness the the screen was just lit up it looked like something honestly out of the Raritan Bay the Raritan Bay it really did look like something out of the Raritan and we were on them Coming over some nice stuff. Let's go. Come on. Here, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Take the freaking bait. Okay, I made the run up the river into town. Let's see what I can do up here. Spot that held fish many moons ago. I came over a couple of fish, not you know, just not seeing the sheer numbers of marks that I've seen in the past. Today could be a bust. Who knows? Today could be a bust. Oh, am I going to come out and get skunked two days in a row? Holy mackerel. That would be a bust. Lighter jig head is wreaking havoc on me, that's for sure. Okay, now I'm on the bottom. There you go. Let's do it. behind the houses up into the up into town nothing so I'm gonna finish where I started see what happens this might be a pancake trip I'm gonna come out for two two trips and catch the skunk here. This is bad. Let's go. Alrighty. Beast out fishing nation. Got yours truly just pulled up behind us here. So he came out late. Captain Jerry on a diamond jig came out late. They already got about seven, eight fish in the boat. I think I'm jinxed this year. I think I am a mush. That's 
Doggo the male. Nice. How could you tell? Was he wearing a tie? Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to say what I wanted to say. I'm recording right now. <laughs> All right, just made a little move and we're marking fish. So, let's see what we got going on here. Came over a couple of them. Came over a couple. Captain Jerry's on the hunt. It was nice for actually covering ground side by side. It was pretty cool. I came over a couple nice, nice big marks. Let's see what happens here. There were some good marks. This water is so dirty, it's not even funny. I mean, you can just see the silt and mud and dirt coming through this water. Fish here, Bob. Yeah, I had two nice marks over here. Starting to walk here too now. Okay. This water is filthy. Huh? Water is filthy, isn't it? Captain Jerry gave up on this spot. I gotta get running, so I'm gonna give us one last drift and finish this drift out, and then I'm out of here. Looks like I may have. A, man, there's fish holding high up, and they're not the ones that are going to chew. That's for sure. They do not. They do not chew. But man, double skunks. Unless I pull a fish in here. In fact, you know what? We're going to pick up. I'm going to try one spot on the way in. And then that's all she wrote. See if I can score there. And if not, I tried my best. My best is all I can do. Just a sticky bottom is what that was. Darn. Thought I had hit, got hit earlier. Coming through here. But might have just been a sticky bottom. We used to have fishing nation. One last ditch effort. I came over a spot. Marks I had. Waypoint that I had where I had fish before. Slowed down. Definitely marked some fish. Tried fishing over top of them. No takers. And now the marks are gone. Alrighty. B Staff Fishing Nation. Day two of the old skunkaroony. Ah, I don't know what happened. Uh, they're definitely not chewing. And they're definitely not liking me. So I'm not sure what's uh, going on here, but um, it is what it is. Listen, I'm out. The good time to shake the boat down and uh, I'll try again next time. Like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Send me some luck and let's go fishing. Thanks. In addition to the off course, I added a stabilizing arm for the Minkota. 
If you look down below in the description, I'll leave you the link. Like, subscribe, save your prayers to the man upstairs. Go fishing.